I've already been on record as saying that I feel like I know where this is going. Okay. So I can acknowledge that. But my personal feeling can still be somewhat different than that. And I still think that the door should be open to Justin Fields performing well and that influencing the future here. I don't think the door should be shut on that regardless of what Fields does in his final seven game because rookie quarterbacks are flaky and you're resetting the time clock all over again. Yes, for the contract, right? Rookie contract, all that stuff that Mike Tannenbaum talked about last year. But you're also putting yourself in a harder position to win football games as you're seeing like with Bryce Young right now. Okay, it's just rookie court or with Tyson Bajan. Like the rookie quarterbacks are going to struggle. And there's a world in which if you don't have to use your pick on a quarterback, you can one draft Marvin Marvin Harrison Jr. Okay. Two, <laughs> who just said Jake that? Jake Flanagan. That was Jake Flanagan. You couldn't recognize Jake the Jake Flanagan all the way from the back of the bar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and grab the tackle from Penn State. Oh, Lou. On top of that, maybe get both while also trading back and getting more picks for the future. I agree. So a- not, not being in a desperate quarterback situation like, I still look at fields when he's on the field. Defenses are worried about who? Him. And that's what this game is all about. It's X's and O's. It's matchups. And when he plays, they're scheming to stop him. They're not scheming to stop Bajent tonight. Stop yourself. They're yeah. not. I get it. They're scheming it. to stop DJ Moore and the running game, which they still couldn't do. So I, I'm just not there yet. I can't be. I feel like I know where this is going. I agree with that. I've seen this play out, you know, enough. But I'm personally not there yet myself. We all city like the mayor. 